Well, the Seahawks week two matchup has brought us to Pittsburgh, and not only is it the home of Heinz Field, it is the home of the three rivers, the Ohio, the Allegheny and the Monongahela. That is my contribution going to be a test. Well, I don't know, but if so, you would ace that one. John Boyle, however, is going to contribute with our key matchups for Sunday's game. And look, we have to start with the Seahawks run game because I know they didn't run it the way they wanted to last week, and there's a tough test this week. Yeah, there sure is. Yeah, the Seahawks last week, they really struggled to get going on the ground. They only gained 72 yards on 25 carries. That contributed to a lot of third and longs. We saw, you know, third and 15, third and 12, all those, and they went four for 12 on third down. Not good enough, obviously. Pittsburgh's always known for great front sevens, really aggressive linebackers who make a lot of plays. Can't come on the road and expect to win without running the ball a little bit for this offense, so they got to be better on the ground. Well, and if you take a look at the Seahawks defense, it is going to be a tough task for the Steelers to get their run game going, but I know that they want to get after Ben Roethlisberger. How does that figure into matchups? Yeah, that's going to be a really fun one to watch. One of the bright spots for the Seahawks last week was that defensive line. Jadavian Clowney had a great debut. Quentin Jefferson, kind of a breakout game with the two sacks. We don't know yet if Ziggy Ons is going to be back, but if he is, that just makes him that much better. But they're going against a great offensive line. The Steelers have 13 Pro Bowls between their five linemen, including a local guy from Bellevue, David DeCastro, and of course, Marquise Pouncey, their center. That group is loaded. They're really tough to get to Ben Roethlisberger. He was only sacked 24 times last year, despite them throwing the ball a lot. And a good example last week, even playing from behind, he threw it 47 times, only sacked once and hit three times. He is a tough quarterback to bring down. Our last matchup to keep an eye on is the turnover battle. Always big, but especially when you go on the road, a great way to, to win a game is to steal a few possessions. And we all know with Pete Carroll, it's all about the ball. Last season, Seahawks plus 15 led the NFL. They only gave it away a league low 11 times. Pittsburgh, on the other hand, has struggled in that regard. Last year, they were minus 26, which is one of the worst in the NFL. And they're minus two this season, or, or minus one, excuse me, and the Seahawks are plus two. So if, the, if those trends continue, that will help the Seahawks quite a bit. Well, and the Seahawks are looking to improve to 2-0 and on the season. John Boyle's got you covered. Seahawks.com, and make sure you listen to the game on the Seahawks radio network.